Compact car shoppers should take note of the 2018 LA Auto Show. Hot on the heels of the new Toyota Corolla and Corolla Hybrid comes a fourth generation redesign of the Mazda 3. And yes, there will be a hybrid of that as well. Now the Mazda 3 comes as a sedan and a hatchback. Uh, it sort of sees an evolution of its current Kodo styling themes. Uh, that includes a very low set grill with kind of squinting headlights that branch out from the upper sides of the grill. It's all kind of cleaned up in a simpler way though, similar to what you've seen on uh, updates of the Mazda 6 and a redesign of the CX-5 SUV. So uh, very clean, simple lines, fewer openings up front, definitely a lot less cladding. You get around back and there's beadier taillights now with quad rings that you can see through the lenses. Uh, the Mazda 3 sedan grows about three inches versus its predecessor. Its predecessor was kind of one of the smaller cars in a class that included the likes of the Honda Civic, the Volkswagen Jetta. So this one kind of fits more evenly with the competition. Now, the Mazda 3 hatchback doesn't change dimensionally versus its predecessor, but it looks a lot different, especially when you get around to the C pillar, which is very, very thick versus kind of the thinner pillar before. It just kind of looks like this whole swoop of a uh, body lines that kind of curve around the rear of the car. We'll have to see how that actually kind of affects uh, visibility looking out the rear once we get a chance to drive the new Mazda 3. Now inside the prior generation Mazda 3, the third generation of this car, sort of inaugurated for Mazda this idea of a tablet-like touchscreen display that perched over the middle part of the dashboard. That's something you're seeing in a lot of different cars, Mazda and otherwise, going on right now. The fourth generation Mazda 3 uh, keeps some of the formula but abandons other parts of it. That screen is still there and it's higher up the dashboard now. It's also larger, 8.8 .8 inches versus 7 inches before, but it's no longer a touchscreen. The only way to use it is through a console-based knob controller. The prior generation did have a knob controller, but it also allowed you to use the screen as a touchscreen when the vehicle was in park. That no longer is the case now, but kind of was a moot point anyway, because we've had a chance to really sit in this car at the auto show and the new screen, really too far away to have used as a touchscreen. Under the hood, a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine uh, will come with front or all wheel drive now available uh, for the first time in the US Mazda 3 when this car hits dealers in early 2019. We don't know horsepower or torque or fuel economy yet. We'll learn that uh, as time comes closer to the on sale date. We'll also probably learn more about the hybrid system. Now this system is coming later on in the 2019 calendar year for the Mazda 3. Mazda did share some details that it will include uh, Sky Active X technology, which borrows kind of a page out of the diesel engines playbook with compression ignition. Again, we don't know a whole lot more than that, so stay tuned to cars.com for plenty more about the Mazda 3 and the 2018 LA Auto Show.